All right. Let's try this again. I don't think the butt rocket would actually be all that effective, but I am a zombie, so what, what do I know? I just have to kill this thing, then we can go through and continue on with the plot. Stabbing and shooting, stabbing and shooting. Keep at it. Steady as she goes. Oh great, it's the annoying thing again. Everyone's favorite boss section. Woo! Better to just stay down here and keep stabbing it, but I know it's not. I just want to think that it is. Now it is. Just keep at it. Just keep at it. Doing better than the last time. By a wide margin. Oh crap. This isn't too bad, all things considered. What's that gray bar for? Did I, did I get it? Tight. This is not a naturally occurring creature. Ah, oh, my master! You have come for me. The lord of the forest is nothing compared to the real love for all your children. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, why is it letting me through? The professor's bone really worked. Rub some of it over the damaged parts and now it's as good as new. Did you feel that? A powerful wave of magic leaving the area? I've never experienced this before. What happened? Was when the zombie defeated that thing? Did you feel its soul rising to heaven or something? No, they don't have souls to begin with. We should have attached the dash cam to his head. Whatever it is, we can't underst- <coughs> oh, We shouldn't waste any more time. You need medical attention. It's a ghost. Why does it need medical to- Ah, oh, whatever. Let's go! But who is best grill? Hmm. A recording from the past. Is this working? Hello? Hello? Cock and balls. Balls and cock. Yep, I think it's working. Yo! What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Rob. It's December 20th. It's been a whole month since the whole place went kaput. Everyone I know is dead. I don't think anyone's gonna be alive to watch this, no matter how much effort I put into editing it. I just cremated my mom, dad, and brother last week, so if I don't find something to do, I might just take the easy way out, you know? Who knows? Maybe in the distant future, alien archaeologists might find my videos. 
What up, alien bros? So as we all know, CO4 spread across the sea like wildfire and killed everyone. Looking out the window, we see their peaceful smiles floating on a, in a sea of red. What are they thinking about? The condition caused by CO4 is irreversible. According to the reports I found here, there's no way to save the infected or to prevent them from becoming monsters. Is there anything that can slow down or even stop the growth of this creature? Well, check out this brand new parasite cocktail developed by yours truly. I worked at Sorbet, so I know where they stashed the high-risk parasites. Parasites like this zombie fungus, it secretes an enzyme that turns human cells into its own spores. Or this shiny tar that turns cells into mechanical life forms. Or this spirit that takes over crucial cellular pathways to... Hmm. You get it, right? Just take all these parasites, throw them into a blender, and pour the juice over the infected. The infected cells will be like, fuck, 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 what the fuck's wrong with y'all? Before exploding to smithereens. It's been effective at dissolving C4, C organisms, putting a stop to their growth. Okay, that's all the research we have for today. Tomorrow, I'm going to the district office to dig up more government secrets. Well, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. I hope nothing kills me before I see you all in the next episode of Apocalypse Exploration. At least he's having fun with it. I guess I don't have to worry about YouTube standards when everyone else is dead. Yes, once we pour this concoction over the infected, they start to dissolve. Grill was right about that human's research. For now, we won't have to worry about the growing CO4. Did something happen? It felt as if the life force from all the sea organisms were swept away. If that's the case, we won't have to worry about CO4 for a while. Did you destroy that cluster from the inside? See anything out of the ordinary? Hmm. I suppose everything that's happened up to now has been extraordinary. Your existence being one of the most extraordinary phenomena recently. I need time to figure this out myself. <sighs> Alright. So I just put you on this grill. What's happening? Are you cooking yourself? My soul is currently imbued in the slimy, sicky substrate. A body made from magic. Let's me occupy a temporary body without taking up too much magic. Sounds convenient. Is that water magic or necromancy? It's biological. Ne um, what, like biomancy? Never heard that before. You learn something new every day. That means that my soul is tied to this substrate. When it gets damaged, I'm in trouble. Oof, not good. The substrate is disintegrating. I have to exercise myself now. Are you supposed to jiggle like that? I yeah. I've been mentally traumatized. Where am I? Who am I? How long have I been dead? What should I still have left on my mortgage? Oof. What? Whoa! I I did it. Whew. Waited a bit longer, my soul would have been destroyed, shattered into a zillion pieces. I've been mentally traumatized. This wouldn't have happened if that zombie didn't totally wreck me, but thanks, everyone. Simmer's plan is a mistake. Even a zombie with a half-eaten brain can recognize that. Where will the Stargate take us? Shouldn't we at least know where we're going? The colonies were advertised as the future of humanity, but we never got any more information. Where are these plans, and how are the exploration teams doing? We checked the archives. The record just told us that the act of evading the Stargate would destroy this entire underground facility. That's it. Without the coordinates to the new planets, and no word from the exploration teams, I could only conclude that we are the last life forms around. Okay, I know I'm technically wrong about that. There are the autotrophic organisms living near deep sea vents that don't need sunlight. My point is activating this target is a terrible gamble. I can't let that happen. Even though you're Simmer's zombie, you've done a lot for me. I won't bother you anymore. Tell her this. If she continues down this path of self-destruction, I won't stand idly and watch it happen. Once she overexerts her soul, you'll stop functioning too. You don't want that to happen. Gotta clean up this mess of rotten meat behind me now. Can leave out the other exit. Just don't take any of my stuff. Taking all of your stuff. Are right, you okay, boss? I was surprised at how different you look. I'm just your employer, not your boss. A job doesn't feel stable unless I've got a boss. Well, there's nothing to do. I'll just continue wandering around. You're a plant. Why do you even need a job? don't need to pay taxes or mortgages. I'll still pay your salary, but it's confusing. 
Hey zombie, did you know that back in the day, Simmer and I were both highly skilled chefs? Let me show you a little something you'll never see at Simmer's Cooking School for Kids. My secret dragon fire roasting techniques. Is it a secret because the audience gets roasted too? No, uh, let me try again. Save your energy. I'll eat that. I'm used to eating dirt anyways. <laughs> not getting roasty, I just kind of forgot how to do it. What's the point anyways if I can't taste any of it? Protecting this place is far more important. Bark. Back then I saw the zombie coming from the surface elevator. Someone must have been at the Stargate on the surface back. That Stargate's broken, so we don't need to worry. Found it just a while ago, too. It's totally broken. I'm sure some are trying every button and switch in complete bewilderment. I don't know who or what broke it. My guess is Stargate's own engineers. They knew the truth and knew the destruction they would cause. I don't even know if the Stargate's work is advertised. All I know is that a lot of our tax dollars are spent trying to complete it. Not touching anything I don't understand. That leads to accidents. If only someone could take the same principled approach. Well, then why don't you try to understand it? Oh well. So what of her stuff should I take? I'm taking this. Vegetable chapter of advanced recipes. Okay, so I got access to more recipes now. Scarlet braised pork on rice. Corpse explosion when using scythes to harvest soul shards. Okay. Blade Grass Salad for attacking the enemy with different sword combos. Inflict 30 extra damage. Hmm. So I will get a bunch of different book, uh, cookbooks in the future. Interesting. I just need to, uh, up how much food I can intake. Ooh. Blood letter. Scarecrow scythe. Firefighter hatchet. Shotgun. Okay. I'm gonna want that. This is a pitcher plant. So he can take me places. Bunch of bulletin and clippings related to the Scargate and planetary colonization. Subterranean Times 2069-87. Department of Correction deploys more officers to take down rumor mongers. Recently, many citizens have been caught spreading false rumors about the existence of the New World in an attempt to discredit the government and sow discord. This week we will publicly execute 729 of these rumor spreading criminals to set the record straight. Execution streams begin every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Lawful citizens interested in proceedings can scan the following QR code to watch Justice in Action. Professor Z, notable scholar, backs news con world conspiracy theories that people's dreams shall not be trampled upon. Professor Z, do we at least know which planets we're colonizing? The executive commander in chief is taking this very seriously. He will s he will sending officers next week to the homes of those with incorrect beliefs, where they will be form ideological correction operations. The Executive Commander-in-Chief calls on all members of the public to dismiss any and all rumors originating from non-official channels. Only you can prevent rumors. Social responsibility is our collective responsibility. Violators will receive the death penalty. Seems legit. I'm taking all of her stuff. Haha! -ha! Scarlet pork stew, and also. Nice. Damn, fish are lucky they're immune to bullets. Haha! This one just got out on sound, so I'm just gonna mercy kill it. I suppose the other one was just brutally murdering uh, for their meats. <sighs> and then there is this corny energy drink. 
I'm not sure if I want to put that in my body. At least it's not Simmer making me eat this shit anymore. Now what's gonna kick my ass here? For you, new town. It's a new town for you. I have been force-fed honey-baked flea legs. I made this... I made this to thank you for saving me back there. If you eat it, then we're even. I just thought I should show what I can do. Otherwise, you'll just think I'm not as good as Simmer, and I can't stand the thought of that. The weird thing is, I can still feel the flavors, even if I don't have any sense of taste. I only made this because the effect it carries make you stronger. Why do I continue to cook? I could just extract magic and make a potion. Ugh, good food shouldn't just be made for the sake of transferring magic. Why won't she just give up on cooking already? Why does Simmer always do stupid things that hurt herself and those around her? It's kind of rude for me to complain about all that we were eating. As an apology, let me share a fun fact. Did you know that this particular flea jumps into the air to catch its favorite prey? Birds? Oh, okay, I see what these things do. No, no, it's fine, I get it now. Bunch of dicks. President Cone! President Cone! President... My fellow plants, it's time to cast off our shackles and revolt. The Lord of the Forest used lies and trickery to oppress us. We were told to attain greatness and glory through sacrificing our blood, pulp, and tears. But now, united, we say no more. Our sacrifices only feed your personal greed. We shall not live under your corrupt rule. We shall stand tall and command respect. We plants shall live for ourselves. Ah, it's Necromancer's servant. What should we do, President Cone? Please tell us. Like the Lord of the Forest, I won't coerce you with violence. You plants are free. Free to do whatever you want with that zombie. Yeah, I reckon they don't look like us. They don't think like us. We should exterminate all that stand in our way. Damn straight. There's only one of him versus all of us, so if we gang up on him, we win. My arms shall not rest, rest until it hammers down on all those who oppress plants. That's right, fuck vegans. Oh, balls. I forgot to change my weapon loadout. Shit, 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 shit. Unlike these guys, I do have guns. But there are a lot more than there are of me. Totally not good. I'm surprised I'm surviving as well as I am. Everything is my enemy now. They're just spitting seeds at me. I would say I'm not very intimidated if it wasn't so act actually effective for some reason. I am... Not confused, I'm just getting a bit tired. It's only five in the morning where I'm at. Oh, find me in the Alps. Ah ha ha! Okay, time to change my weapons again. <sighs> Tea, pork stew, ooh. The scarlet pork stew looks very good. Time to stew myself. <sighs> oh, 
upgrade. Oh, I can upgrade some recipes? Hold on. Can I upgrade Simmer's recipes too? Can I only upgrade rare stuff? Rebel up! Luckily I have a lot of smarts. Maxed out, okay. That's a lot of deeps. Okay, so some things can be upgraded further, it seems. How oh, could you sell weapons to the servants of the enemy? Do you understand how much President Cone has done to liberate us from the Lord of the Forest? Hey, hey, calm down, everyone. I'm just doing business here, not politics. I completely agree with the President Cone's commitment to freedom for all plants. I just sell weapons. I can't control who wants to buy it or who they want to use it on. Uh, what? Uh, what, what did the Lord of the Forest do? Are you kidding? Have you been living under a rock? The Lord of the Forest is a hypocritical tyrant. She talks about maintaining the ecosystem but tramples on us plants. Under her rule and grand vision, we had no choice but to come feed for the animals. Oh, uh, that, that that's terrible. She probably doesn't realize how much the plants have developed mentally. I mean, she could be too busy. There were definitely jobs that were delegated, you know, there weren't many plants that could talk back then if she had known they would evolve into their own civil society. Hey, keep your voice down with that kind of sympathizer to uh, end up like those spinning durians. Times are changing. The stubborn durians would not adapt. Oh, they suffered the consequences, though, right? R really? Speaking of, what plant are you again? Wait a minute. Shit, it's the necromancer zombie! Fuck a scram! D don't worry, he'll, he still needs your weapons. Need chili pieces to make a shotgun. So, uh, this is happening now. Oh, crap. Time to go back to shooting people. Oh, there's a pineapple there I didn't even notice. They're just so weak and uninteresting. Oh, I see. This just launches pineapples. That's where they keep coming from. I'm not sure if this is getting harder or not because I'm seem to be having difficulty, but I'm not actually dying. And I am very confused. Woo! Okay. Woohoohoo. Oh, balls. Is this uh, some kind of Rambo joke? I suppose this is a Rambo joke. Can't recommend blanching these. Make it up there, I swear. Watermelon juice. Shit. I'm gonna stand here and heal up. Until next time. Toodaloo, darlings.